Hey guys, this is Matthew Briggs, and I'm here in New Braunfels, Texas at Beagle's Nest Studios. I'm here today to talk to you guys about tuning a guitar. Now, most of you guys for Christmas may have unwrapped a brand new acoustic or electric guitar. And when you pull it out of the box and you went to strum it, it probably sounded something like this. Now, they're not supposed to sound like that but there's a way to tune it to where it will sound pleasing to the ear. This is a clip-on tuner. A clip-on tuner clips right onto the headstock of the guitar, and what it does is it measures frequencies and vibrations from the guitar that it sends down to this little computer. Now, on this particular model, it has four different settings. It has guitar, bass, violin, and ukulele. Now, when you look at the bottom, it'll say G for guitar, B for bass, V for violin, or U for ukulele. So we want to set our setting today to G for guitar. Now, as we approach this, we need to know what's going on in this area. This is your headstock, and it has six tuners on it. These tuners represent the six strings on the guitar and how we tighten or loosen them. If I tighten these top ones, I'm gonna go counterclockwise, which takes the note up. If I want to take the note down, I'll go clockwise, which will lower the note and pitch. The names of the strings are E, A, D, G, B, and E. So if I'm close enough to the note, which probably will be. I'm going to hit the top string and it should give me an E. Now, I want to see what the gauge is doing. Right now, the gauge is low. It's on the left side. If the note's low, we need to take it higher and take it up in pitch. Oops. All right. As I turn it, once I get to the note that I desire, it'll turn to green. <laughs> so the next one is E, then the next one is A. The third string is D. That one was way out of tune, but the computer still knew it was in the D string frequency. So as you start playing, hopefully it'll be close enough to grab it and bring it up to D. All right, so now we're left with these three on the bottom. The next one is G. I want to point out something. When I'm tuning these things, I'm not... You don't want to hit it really fast to try to get the note. You want to let the note ring out. And you want to take your time. Just barely turn it. There it goes. Another thing is the computer cannot read more than one string at a time. You can only tune one at a time. So if you try to tune the guitar and you're hitting two at the same time like this, it won't be able to recognize the notes. And it will, it will never tune. It might pop up with a letter, but it's not really hearing what you're trying to do. The next to last string down here is the B. Oh, looks like we're high, so I need to bring it back down. All right, last but not least, it's the bottom E. There we go. You want to click and hold down the tuner so it turns it off so it doesn't waste batteries. They don't turn off by themselves. All right, now that we've tuned our guitar, let's see what it sounds like. All right, pretty close. You might have to go back and fine tune here and there. At, remember, this is a this is a old tree and this piece of wood, it's gonna constantly flex and bend as your body warmth, the room 
warm or cold gets to it, it's going to constantly just move back and forth. Make sure that you, you know every few songs, especially when the strings are new, it still sounds good. Other techniques that you might want to use if you don't have technology around is tuning the guitar to itself. So if you know that your E string is in tune, you can go to the fifth fret on the E string, and which is the A, and play the A string underneath it. Sounds pretty good. If it was off, it would sound like this. And I can listen to it, and I can match the pitch. This is a good way to start ear training and starting to build your theory. And starting to learn more of the guitar while training your ear. Okay, next fret, next is the fifth fret on the A string. D to D. Next is the fifth fret on the D string, which is G to G. The only one that doesn't go with the fifth fret is the G. On the G string, you're gonna go to the fourth fret, which is B, and go B to B. It's the only one. And then we'll get back on the fifth fret again for the high E. Like I said, if it wasn't in tune, it would sound something like this. You can hear the waves fight each other. You can just reach down there and turn it till the waves smooth out. I hope you liked this video. I got many more to come. I hope you've enjoyed it. There's many ways to tune the guitar. If you want to learn how to tune by harmonics, message me at the bottom and I'll send you a video. You guys have a great week. See you next time. When she showed me the knob of her silver gray sob, that was once affixed to the ship.